I have some bad news for you. Unfortunately, many people in your life are not going to take your fitness seriously. The good news, though, is you can just shrug them off. You don't need their permission to take your fitness as seriously as you need to. You don't need to be ashamed to make time for it and defend that time like your life depends on it because in many ways it does. Without regular exercise and without regular strength training in particular, health and vitality inevitably decay. And your health and your vitality are not just parts of your life. They quite literally are your life. So by refusing to spend a few hours per week on your fitness, what you're basically saying is, I don't care about my life. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? Oh, you're too busy to get fit. Look, Who has the free time for even half of all of the stuff that they want to do? Who has a chunk of their days just neatly gift wrapped for training in zen-like comfort and solitude? Let's face it, we are all going to die with a long to-do list. Fondling ourselves and arguing with strangers on the internet, those are things that should be on that list, but start training should not be. You're allowed to look away, too. You're allowed to look away from the news, from social media, from the streaming circus. You are allowed to seize and occupy a swath of your life to eat, exercise, and sleep the way you want to. And you should harumph at anyone who says otherwise. They're entitled to their life, not yours. And I know, I know, you are not going to enjoy every workout. Nobody does. but you will always enjoy having worked out. So remember that when it feels like you're sweating blood. Remember that some days you rescue the workout and other days the workout rescues you. Also, don't get so gripped by the cacophony of conflicting rules and methods that you spend more time thinking than training. Don't allow the temptation of a better way to eat and exercise become the fiery, unblinking, and paralyzing gaze of Sauron. Push it aside, train first, then reflect. And finally, once you have found a setup that works for you, offer it to others. Leave a light on and a ladder out for those who are coming up behind you. Show them your map so they can better chart theirs. If you like what I'm doing here on the podcast, and if you want to hear my musings on mastering the inner game of getting fit so you can reach your fitness goals faster, check out my book, The Little Black Book of Workout Motivation. In it, I share wisdom and insights from hundreds of scientific studies and scores of legendary artists, authors, entrepreneurs, philosophers, generals, and conquerors, as well as my own biggest aha moments that have helped me overcome the things that were most holding me back. Here's a little sneak peek of what you'll find inside. The easiest way to instantly increase your willpower and self-control in any situation, no matter how you feel in the moment. Three science-based psychological tricks you can use to stay strong during moments of temptation. A simple 10-minute technique for beating procrastination and skyrocketing productivity how to stop telling yourself, I'll be happy when, and find immediate joy and satisfaction right where you are, the 40% rule that Navy SEALs use to dig deep and screw up their courage when they need it most, and more. And all that is why I've sold over 60,000 copies of The Little Black Book and why it has over 1,000 four and five star reviews on Amazon. And you can find the Little Black Book of Workout Motivation on all major online retailers like Audible, Amazon, iTunes, Kobo, and Google Play. Well, I hope you liked this episode. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, subscribe to the show because it makes sure that you don't miss new episodes. And it also helps me because it increases the rankings of the show a little bit, which of course then makes it a little bit more easily found by other people who may like it just as much as you. And if you didn't like something about this episode or about the show in general, or if you have uh, ideas or suggestions or just feedback to share, 
shoot me an email, mike at muscleforlife.com, muscleforlife.com, and let me know what I could do better or just uh, what your thoughts are about maybe what you'd like to see me do in the future. I read everything myself. I'm always looking for new ideas and constructive feedback. So thanks again for listening to this episode, and I hope to hear from you soon.